Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we have listed the top six of the best laptops for Linux in 2022 to help you find the right one for your needs and budget. So let's get started. Dell XPS 13 Developer Edition. Let's begin with the Dell XPS 13 Developer Edition. Dell XPS 13 is getting better than ever. It is one of the best laptops and are a compelling option for those wanting Ubuntu instead of Windows. Coming with a 13.4 inch screen, it features a 1920 by 1080 resolution touchscreen, which has a 16 by 10 aspect ratio and made from Corning Gorilla Glass. It is glare, impact, and scratch resistant, while its colors are deep, vibrant, when the detail is pin sharp. Design-wise, constructed from CNC machined aluminum and imprinted with a stainless steel Dell logo, it's a slimline laptop that comes in just 14.8 millimeters. And being 296 millimeters tall means that this Dell XPS 13 is also an ideal laptop that functions well and looks professional without being too big. Moving on to its performance, it uses an adaptive performance based on the latest Intel Dynamic Tuning technology, while its thermal design will ensure you have the best performing system in the thinnest form factor possible. Its additional integrated features comprise an IR and HD webcam, backlit keyboard, fingerprint reader, killer Wi-Fi 6, as well as Bluetooth 5.1, and finally, for sound, it houses a deep and full sound with a toned bass that makes listening to music and watching films a delight. Next is Acer Swift 3. This Acer Swift 3 is a Ryzen 7 4700U performed laptop that excels at performance. By design, it has a minimalist exterior consisting of magnesium and aluminum, which is refined and polished. And on the center of the lid, there's a reflective Acer logo that adds to its look. This aluminum is of lightweight design, which allows easy traveling, making it ideal for portability, longevity, and power. And moving on to its display, it comes with a 14-inch plain switching display, with which you can experience vivid colors and brighter images with 1920 by 1080 resolution, 82.73% screen to body ratio, and 16 to 9 aspect ratio. While it's 8 gigabytes of RAM with a 512 gigabyte NVMe solid state drive helps to enhance the loading times and increase system performance. And when it comes to the keyboard, this AMD Swift 3 model is more attractive as it sports silver keys with a white keyboard backlight. And the same goes with its touchpad too, which is a wide silver touchpad that measures 4.2 by 2.6 inches. For battery, its built-in lithium ion battery renders a runtime of up to 16 hours for giving you the power you need to get your daily tasks done. And for ports on the left side, there's a USB type C port, an HDMI port, and a USB 3.2 gen one type A port, and a Kensington lock port a USB 2.0 port, and a headphone jack on the right side. Its connectivity is also pretty impressive, as with onboard Wi-Fi 6 capabilities and Bluetooth 5.0. It will allow you to connect with wireless peripherals like mice and headphones for an authentic cordless experience. Next is Dell Inspiron 15 3000. Unlike other competitors on this line, this Dell Inspiron 3000 laptop is made of all plastic, and despite its plastic build, it is pretty sturdy and solid. Now let's take a look at its display. It comes with a 15.6 inch HD anti-glare LED backlit non-touchscreen, and this display is also surrounded by almost 10 millimeters thick side bezels, which is out design. Just as its exterior, the keyboard and the Dell Inspiron 3593 laptop is also made of all plastic. And in addition to featuring a white zonal backlit of three level, it can also illuminate its secondary functions of keys too. Its touchpad is 4.1 inch wide in size and is very smooth and responsive. And it houses two separate buttons at the bottom of the keyboard, which have a noticeable sound when you press them. 
It comes powered by an Intel Core i5-1035GI processor and NVIDIA MX230 graphics. And in addition to that, Dell has also provided a one terabyte of large SSD storage to let you open and edit heavily faster. Moving on to its battery, it incorporates a 42WH capacity battery. And finally, for ports, it has two USB 3.1 Gen 1, a USB 2.0, HDMI, one combination audio jack, and one RJ45 connector. Next is Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon. If you are more concerned about productivity than gaming or video editing, this ThinkPad X1 Carbon can be an excellent choice for you. Featuring a world-class keyboard, a helpful pointing stick, a slim and light chassis, and plenty of ports with long battery life. It is an ultimate ultrabook designed especially for productivity users rather than gamers. And unlike its competitors, X1 Carbon feels sturdy, as coming reinforced with carbon fiber doesn't make it flex at the keyboard, creak at the hinges, or scratch after being lightly brushed. This X1 Carbon is also MIL STD tested and rated, like all other ThinkPads to survive extreme temperatures, spills, and some drops. And in addition to its fingerprint reader in the deck, it also has facial recognition, which you can get on the optional IR cameras that works with Windows Hello to log you in with a glance. When it comes to ports, it houses two Thunderbolt 3 ports, a USB 3.1 port, an HDMI 1.4 input, a headphone slash mic jack, and a network extension for ethernet and mechanical docking on the left. While on the right, there is a lock slot and a second USB 3.1 Type-A input. Lastly, we have the Lenovo T490. This Lenovo's ThinkPad T490 is a premium 14-inch laptop aimed at business buyers. Compared to its last year's model, the T480, it now has the option for an updated NVIDIA MX250 dedicated graphics card. Whiskey Lake Intel processor options, and a WQHD display with Dolby Vision HDR and brightness up to 500 NITS. And it is also way too thinner, weighs less, and even has a smaller footprint than the T480 did. Moving on to its display, it has an anti-glare FHD 14-inch display with 1920 by 1080 resolution. And for the keyboard, its keyboard hasn't changed much. It still uses the same cup keys with the perfect amount of travel. And what is included here is its iconic ThinkPad track point system with a red pointer nub in the middle of the keyboard, as well as physical buttons, which have been positioned between the keyboard and standard touchpad. Finally, for ports, it has a great collection. Like on the left side, there's a USB-C for charging, Thunderbolt 3, USB-A 3.1, HDMI 1.4, a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, and a micro SD card reader. While on the right, you will get an RJ45 Ethernet port, another USB-A 3.1, and an optional smart card reader. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and want to hear more from us, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our new videos.